This Logitech M650 signature mouse is not just another average Logitech mouse. It's the new generation Logitech mouse that can fly. Nah, I'm just kidding. In all seriousness, this new M650 signature mouse is truly a new generation Logitech mouse. And in this video, I'm going to show you why. These are the topics we are going to cover and timestamps are in the description down below. The M650 signature mouse has a smart wheel scrolling and is different from the older generation Logitech mice that have hyper fast scrolling like the MX Master and M720 Triathlon mouse. Hyper fast scrolling mice have a hefty scroll wheel where one flick will cause it to spin like a heavy flywheel with lots of rolling inertia. The scroll wheel on the new M650 is the lightweight type. When scrolling slowly, we can feel the subtle notch in the ratchet scrolling mode. When we flick the wheel, it automatically switches over to free wheel mode, but it doesn't spin like a flywheel. Have a close look at the smart wheel text written on the scroll wheel to see the spin intensity as I flick. So I have here a 37 page long document. A gentle flick will scroll to the middle of the document. And a strong flick sends me right to the bottom of the document. This smart wheel scrolling senses the varying strength of my flicking, which is why it's called a smart wheel. It's actually a useful smart feature. By the way, believe it or not, this M650 mouse has a horizontal scroll wheel. I'll show you in the later part of the video. For now, let's talk about the button click next. I noticed that Logitech has quietly changed their newer generation mice to use another type of mouse click button, the quiet type that doesn't make a click sound. Have a listen. And compared to the previous type on my M720 Triathlon mouse, Logitech started introducing the quiet click button type with the M350 Pebble mouse and then the Logitech Pop mouse and now this M650 signature mouse. Even the newly released MX Master 3S now have the quiet clicker buttons. Even though this M650 signature mouse is a mid-range mouse, it comes with a Logi Bolt USB receiver. This next generation Logi Bolt receiver used to be the expensive option that came only with the high-end MX series devices. But now it appears that Logitech is now supplying the Bolt receiver with all its new models by default. Now, if you are not familiar with the Logitech USB receivers, there are actually three types. The one that does not have any logo on it that comes connected to its device by default, like my M350 Pebble mouse. And then we have the unifying receiver and the Bolt receiver that can be reprogrammed to connect up to six compatible devices on a single receiver. Now the difference between the unifying receiver and the Bolt receiver is that the Bolt is the next generation Logitech receiver that has more robust connection and performance. And it uses Bluetooth Low Energy 5.0 to save battery life. Logitech claims the battery life of this M650 can last up to two years instead of the typical six to 12 months on older models. However, you may want to note that the newer devices like this M650 mouse that use Bolt receivers are not backward compatible and cannot connect to unifying receivers. Also, what I realized is this signature M650 is not a multi-device mouse. It can only connect to one computer at a time using either Bluetooth connection or the USB receiver connection. 
For my Logitech Pebble M350 mounts, I can easily switch between Bluetooth connection to my personal laptop and USB receiver connection to my work laptop. I can't do this for the signature M650 no matter how I try. Not sure if I've missed anything. If you know how to make this M650 work with multiple computers, let me know in the comments down below. Introducing the new Logi Option Plus app. When I plug in the M650 signature mouse, I was prompted to install this new Logitech Option Plus application. As I long pressed the connect button to set the mouse to pairing mode, both the Option Plus software and my Windows Swift Pair detected the mouse. I dismissed the Windows Swift Pair via Bluetooth and press connect on the Logitech Option Plus application because that's what I want to connect to, not the Bluetooth. After that, I had to go through a bit of fun, left clicking and right clicking to verify the mouse. And then the Signature M650 is set up and ready to go. Now what I really like is the app is smart enough to look for all other applications in my computer like my Microsoft Office applications, my Zoom and MS Team video conferencing softwares, and set up default configuration for the front and back thumb buttons. I don't have to do this manually. So on Zoom, these buttons are for me to enable and disable my video and mute and unmute my audio. And in Microsoft Words, those two buttons becomes undo and redo command buttons. And on MS Teams, the buttons are the same as Zoom, used for enabling and disabling my video and audio. I really enjoy not having to manually set all this up. Okay, now on to horizontal scrolling that I mentioned earlier. When we press and hold one of the buttons and scroll, it turns the scroll wheel into horizontal scrolling. Now, that is really smart. And I'm happy to report that this works surprisingly well. Have a look at this demo of me scrolling through my video editing timeline. Without pressing the buttons, it's vertical scrolling. And when I press and hold the front button, it turns into horizontal scrolling. And letting go of the button, it turns back to vertical scrolling again. And now, pressing and holding the back button, it also turns into horizontal scrolling. The best part is, the notches on the scroll wheel are precisely horizontally scrolling the timeline in steps that is to my preference. And this is without me tuning any settings that comes out of the box. Pretty impressive. By the way, I use Logitech Flow all the time to flow between computers. And what I noticed is that this Logitech Signature M650 does not have Logitech Flow. The M650 Signature mouse seems to be targeted at all types of hands. It's asymmetrical for both left and right handers. And if I'm not wrong, this is the first Logitech mouse that comes in two sizes. The large size M650 Signature mouse is longer and fatter. Like most Logitech mice, the position of the battery compartment of the single AA battery distributes the weight of the mouse very well, so the mouse is centered and well balanced. So do I recommend the new generation Logitech M650 signature mouse? Absolutely. I highly recommend it to those of you who don't need backward compatibility, like pairing it with a unifying receiver and don't need to use Logitech Flow. The new features like the smart wheel scrolling, quiet click, and the new hold button for horizontal scrolling are pretty impressive improved features. Check out my other videos on the M720 Triathlon mouse, which is about the same price range of this M650 signature mouse. If you have previously watched my other videos, consider subscribing to support my Sky Perspective channel. Small gestures like this helps a lot. Thanks, you take care and I'll see you in the next one.